RSS feeds are basically XML files which provides an external link to view latest posts or updates about your website. For example, if you are running an e-commerce site, creating an RSS feed will help visitors to view latest products on your website. First we are going to create a string variable, which will hold all RSS feed data. Create an XML tag, it is optional but recommended to use it. And add the XML version in it. Then we will create an RSS tag, and all other tags will be written inside it. It will be like an HTML tag which holds all the other tags inside it. You can also specify the version of RSS, right now version 2.0 is the standard version. Now create a channel tag, it will be used for different type of categories. We will be using this for products. And inside it, the most important tags are title, description, language, and link of site. I am setting language to U.S. English. And in link, we need to set the root path of website. You can just copy-paste that from URL, or if you wanted to make it more dynamic, you can use the PHP server variable. First write HTTP, or HTTPS. Then server name will return the name of server, in this case, it will be localhost. And request re will return the path to this folder. Then you can place this variable inside link tag. Now we need to save it in a file, so we will be using file put contents function. Just add some message for confirmation. You will see a new rss.xml file will be created here. You can view this file in proper format by running it in browser. So create a new tab. And drag drop it in there. So that's how it displays in browser. And anyone can access it using its direct link. We will also teach you to create a direct link of this. Now we will add the content from database. Make a connection with database. Get data from products table. and sort in descending order since RSS feed should be of latest data. Loop through all the records. And each will product will have its item tag. It will also contain title description and optional link, so we will just copy-paste it from above. We do not the language tag here, so just remove it. And here we will place product's title. And here description. And link will be each product's detail page. Let's assume that you have product.php page where you are displaying each product's detail, and sending the ID in URL. Now if this error comes up, it means that your data has some special characters in it, and so the XML is not able to interpret it. You can convert those characters into HTML entities by calling the function, HTML special, chars. And wrap your variables in it.
Now the last thing you can do, is to show a link to this feed in your website. You just need to create an anchor tag with RSS feed image, which when click will show this feed to the users. So the users will know that you are also providing RSS feed of your site. We have already downloaded a logo of RSS. Just setting it width, you will be applying our own styles of course. And give the hypertext reference to this XML file. And we want it to open in new tab, so give attribute target, and set its value to blank. So that's how you can display a link to your website RSS feed to your visitors, which they can use to view it frequently for updates. You can also upload them on Feedly.com for global reach. So that's it, let us know if you face any issue in this.